Could Sunday's loss to the Buffalo Bills be the wake-up call the Chiefs needed? Kansas City's dominance is under scrutiny after a shocking 30-21 defeat. What's next for the Chiefs as they aim to bounce back? Hit that subscribe button to stay in the loop. We've got all the insider details you won't want to miss. Hey Chiefs Kingdom! I hope you're all still hanging in there because what we saw on Sunday was nothing short of shocking. The reigning Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs, were handed a tough lesson by the Buffalo Bills in a 30-21 loss that has left us all questioning what went wrong. The Chiefs entered Week 11 with high expectations, and why wouldn't they? After all, they've been the team to beat for the past few seasons. The combination of elite coaching, the greatness of Patrick Mahomes, and the unmatched leadership of Travis Kelsey made them a feared opponent. But what happened on Sunday? It wasn't just a loss, it was a wake-up call that exposed some serious vulnerabilities in both their offense and defense. Let's break it down. First off, the Bills executed a brilliant game plan that frustrated the Chiefs from the start. They were able to slow down Mahomes, something very few teams have managed to do over the years. The offense, which usually fires on all cylinders, looked out of sync and couldn't find their rhythm. The Bills managed to neutralize what the Chiefs do best, explosive plays, quick scoring drives, and keeping defenses on their toes. The defense wasn't much better. The Chiefs' defense, which had been solid all season, found themselves exposed by Josh Allen and the Bills' offensive attack. It was a complete team effort by Buffalo, but there were moments in this game when the Chiefs' defense just couldn't keep up. They gave up big plays at crucial times, and in the NFL, that can make or break a game. Now, let's be clear, this loss wasn't about one bad game. No, it was about a team being forced to face their flaws head-on. Kansas City was completely thrown off balance for the first time in a long while, and that's what's going to make or break this team moving forward. They now know that despite their Super Bowl wins and playoff appearances, they are not invincible. It's a humbling reminder that every season brings new challenges. The Chiefs star tight end, Travis Kelsey, spoke about how this loss will help them in the long run. He mentioned that sometimes, you need a game like this to see where you need to improve. It's not about being defeated, it's about learning, adapting, and coming back stronger. He's confident that the Chiefs have what it takes to bounce back, and frankly, I believe him. But it's not going to be easy. This loss to the Bills is a wake-up call for the entire team. They can't just cruise through the rest of the season and hope to stumble into another championship. They need to recalibrate, fix the gaps in their defense, and find ways to protect Mahomes while keeping that explosive offense moving. The clock is ticking, and the Super Bowl window is getting smaller with each passing week. Wow, Chiefs Kingdom, what a tough pill to swallow, right? Watching that game on Sunday felt like a real gut punch, especially when we've been so used to seeing our team dominate. But here's the thing, as painful as this loss was, I honestly think this could be the wake-up call the Chiefs needed. It's easy to get caught up in the success of back-to-back -back Super Bowl wins and think that we've got it all figured out, but the reality is, no team stays on top forever without being tested. When you look at what happened, it's clear the Chiefs weren't taken by surprise by the Bills' talent. I mean, we all know what Josh Allen can do. But what shocked everyone was how they executed their game plan. The Bills didn't just beat us, they neutralized our offense in a way no one has been able to do for a long time. They found holes in our defense, exposed weaknesses we didn't even know existed, and slowed down Mahomes like we've never seen before. But here's the silver lining, the Chiefs are resilient, and they know how to bounce back. Just like Travis Kelsey said, sometimes a loss like this can be the best thing for a team. It forces you to take a step back, assess what's wrong, and come up with a better plan moving forward. Yes, we've seen the Chiefs be dominant for the past few years, but this loss was a reminder that the path to the Super Bowl is in a straight line. There are bumps in the road, and sometimes, those bumps make you better. Look, I'm not saying we should ignore what happened. We all know the Chiefs have their work cut out for them. They have to make adjustments, especially on defense. That's where the most glaring issues were. But we've seen this team rise to the occasion before. The leadership is still there, and the talent is undeniable. We just have to get back to the basics, 
fix what's broken, and get back to playing Chiefs football. At the end of the day, every team faces adversity, and it's how you respond to it that defines you. The Chiefs are far from out of the race for the Super Bowl. In fact, this loss could end up being the catalyst for their next great run. It might sting for now, but I believe this team will bounce back stronger than ever. The talent is there, now it's about execution. We're going to learn a lot about this team over the next few weeks, and I've got no doubt they'll rise to the challenge. I'm confident that, with the leadership of Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey, this team can still get back on track. It's not going to be easy, but hey, when has anything worth having ever been easy? Chiefs Kingdom, we've been through tough moments before, and we've come out on top. This loss? It's just another obstacle. Let's get back to work and show the NFL who we really are. Now, let's keep the conversation going. How do you think the Chiefs should respond to this loss? What changes do you think they need to make? Let's hear your thoughts, Chiefs fans. Keep the faith, and let's move forward. Now, I want to hear from you. Do you think the Chiefs can bounce back from this loss and still make a run for the championship? Or is this the beginning of a downfall? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, we'd love to hear from you.